Woo! It's transformational Tuesday. Here I am, psychic medium, Samantha Fay, here to bring you some loving, loving angel messages for your week, for your Tuesday. Oh my goodness, you guys, become as in two days. Two days. I can't even believe it. Chris, uh, Christina, I know you're coming. I'm really excited about that. Jen, I know you're coming. Excited about that. Um, I really, I, I'm really thrilled about this one. As I mentioned, this is my third event in nine months, which basically means I'm a crazy person uh, because they definitely take a lot of time, energy, and effort to put on. And so I'm just so thankful for all of you who are coming. Now, the energy of this event feels really, really potent to me. It's a little more intimate. We don't have as many people as uh, as the last event, so I'm actually pretty excited about that. Uh, and I can feel it. Jen, I'm right there with you. I, I mean, I got a few things to do. But um, yeah, I'm really, really, really excited to be sharing this. I wanted to also let you know that I have decided to do something I've never done before that there will be day passes available at the event. So if you want to come to the event and you haven't got your ticket yet, or you can only come Friday or Saturday, or you can't get work off or something like that, yes, I have designed it as a whole three-day experience. There's a whole flow to the whole thing, which I would absolutely love for you to be there, but I really have been guided to open that up. So there will be tickets available day of you're welcome to come uh and just buy a day pass if that's what you would like to do um so with that without any further ado i wanted to make sure you guys all got that message uh first let's go ahead and talk with the angels so as we call in divine truth and love into this sacred space we invoke the highest possible healing for each and every viewer replayer and myself we ask for the courage and compassion to speak and to hear from the purest form of self-love and forgiveness to all involved. Amen. All right. So let's go ahead. Now, Sherry, I see you're on here. Um, are you able to make it? I know it's last minute now at this point, but let me know. Let me know. All right. So let's go ahead and ask the cards for guidance for these for this week. And remember, whether you're watching this in real time, whether you're watching this two months from now on my YouTube channel, wherever it is that you're watching this, know that this message is for you in the time that you are receiving it. There we go. There's one. There is another one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hello. All right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ashley, yay! I'm so glad you'll be there. I'm so excited. I don't know what become would be without you there. All right, so let's go ahead and start. We have the 10 of Raphael. Now, we've we've gotten this one recently, right? We got this like a couple weeks ago. So love and blessings fill your life, harmonious relationships with family member, and happily ever after. So whatever your forgiveness pattern is or whatever your forgiveness practice is, go ahead and use this energy, use this opportunity to amplify that. Let that really, um, you know, rev up your engine for forgiveness. That's what this this card is really supporting. That harmonious relationships with family members. Think of any family member that you have that like snag with. That when you think about them, it's kind of like that little stinging, like ooh. Ooh, it just doesn't feel so good. Like, go ahead and take a look at it and just like basically use forgiveness as a solve or as a bomb. Like, go ahead and just put the energy of forgiveness around that area for you. Because remembering that whatever sort of grudges you're holding on to or any sort of disharmony in these relationships, uh, even if it's like, well, we can be cordial in person, but underlying that, it's like, it doesn't feel good. The only person you're doing a disservice to is yourself. So allowing yourself to really find that place of forgiveness is really just about setting you free from having that icky feeling inside. It doesn't change much of anything other than it might give both of you an opportunity to have more harmony, more harmonious conversations, and a more harmonious connection. So really, this is this card is showing up that, that it's an indicator to find that deeper level of forgiveness than you've given yourself permission to do up until this point and use the supportive energy of this new moon to really clear and clean that out. So be really, really clear about that. 
Okay, beautiful. So that's a 10 of Raphael. We have the three of Gabriel here. So prosperity arising from wise planning, time to take the next step, optimistic plans that turn out as expected. I love that this card and these cards are showing up, especially after our reading last week. I felt like last week was a lot of the like digging the, the upheaval, like let's get rid of the shit. Let's get rid of the stuff that's holding us back. Let's really do some introspection. And I'd love to hear from some of you how that introspection go. How was your last week? Did you really get a lot accomplished? I know for me, I had a massive heart center breakthrough yesterday of stuff I didn't even know was holding, I was holding on to that came in the form of anxiety, which was actually really terrible. But I do know that all of that had to come out, had to come through for me, especially before I lead this event through Become. So looking at what is it that you actually allowed yourself to let go of last week, give yourself permission to reflect, to celebrate, to see what were your breakthroughs. Because I can guarantee you right now, you had some breakthroughs that you're not giving yourself credit for right now. Go back and do so because it's going to give you the celebration for this one. So it's time to take the next step. Optimistic plans turn out as expected. Meaning whatever it is that you're creating right now, give a couple of more plans. Give a couple, there's a little bit more structure. If you're anything like me, structure makes me want to like bang my head against the wall because I just like, ugh, drives me nuts. Having a schedule, running a business, that sort of thing. These are things that I have had to genuinely learn how to do. It doesn't come easy for me. But this card right here is showing you that if you take that little bit of extra effort, that little bit of extra planning in your step, in your process of what it is that you're creating for yourself, it's going to reward you even more so than you thought. So give yourself that extra time to plan, give yourself that extra time to plot, and you'll really see the results of that in a new and sort of refreshed way. All right, and so the Ace of Gabriel, we have a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration, a chance to do something amazing in a sense of wonder. So wherever, wherever it is, I'm going to just bring this one back. Okay, so we're talking about harmonious relationships, love and blessings to fill your life, and the happily ever after. Look at that. Is there an avenue in your life that you may not be considering that is opening up for you that's going to be a really beautiful sign and indicator that that's the direction that you want to go? Go ahead and take a look at that now because then we have the prosperity from wise planning, making sure that the optimistic plans turn out for you as expected. And then here we really have that sense of wonder that there's a chance to do something amazing. So what is the path that you maybe have not yet considered or something that is brand new, brand new in your life that you're still questioning? Like, what is it that you're asking for signs? Do I need to go in this direction? Do I need to go in this direction? Do I need to go in this direction? I know I ask for multiple, multiple signs when I'm unsure because I'm like, show, show me and help me move through the fear to my guides. And they always do. They always show up with signs. Always, always, always. This reading right here is a huge sign for me. I'm actually very thankful and very grateful for these cards for coming through because it is another one of the yeah, like nods like, yes, go in that direction. So knowing that for yourself, giving yourself the freedom of release, the freedom of surrender, stop trying to figure it out, release the fear of the way that you think it's going to be because you're already creating. And you know, in, in psychology, not even psychic or any of this stuff, they have what's called the self-fulfilling prophecy. And this has been around forever. But the self-fulfilling prophecy is basically if somebody uh, thinks about something and thinks about something so much that it then becomes true. Psychology doesn't really have a reason as to why that happens. And now with um, quantum mechanics and our metaphysical learning, we can start to see that our thoughts are creating energetic frequencies that then create and manifest that in our world. Um, and so looking at that for yourself, when you have another option or you have a life path that is just opening up to you or something is closing, the door is closing, you don't know where you're going, visualize and visualize and visualize the best possible outcome and also go this and something more because I can guarantee you your imagination is the only thing that is limiting you. Really think about that. That your imagination is the limits of what is possible for you in your life because it's the only thing that you can think of. 
So give yourself permission to even push those bounds even farther, just push them even harder so that you can see yourself more clear, clearly, but not just about seeing yourself more clearly, giving yourself permission to actually have what your soul is truly craving, truly craving. I'm not just talking about, oh, ooh, this is what I want to do on the weekend. Like, what do you want your life to look like? How do you want your life to be beyond three months, beyond six months? That's his planning here really looking at a little bit more careful planning. We're not just talking about this week, like look out, look out and look a little bit further and always leave room for shifts, but know that every single step you take is leading you in the next right direction. So without holding on to expectations of how you think your life should be, this is, I was making the slides for Become Last Night actually, and one of the things that I looked at creating was, if you look back from a year from now and see where you're at now, is your life and does your life look the way you expected it to look? Are you doing the things you expected for yourself to do? No, chances are probably not. So why do we set these really intense expectations for ourselves that only leave room for disappointment and only leave room for this feeling that we are not good enough or inadequate or that we can't create these things because we are setting expectations? Now, if you really focus on this step as your first step, then you have your next step, focus on the next right step and the next right step, notice that every single step might point you in a different direction that's going to lead you to where it is that you want to be, but there is never any wrong turn. There is never any wrong turn, but you get to choose. Your free will allows you the opportunity to choose exactly how you want your life to unfold, exactly how you want to experience it. Because that's what it's about. It's about your own internal experience. It's not about anything else. It really isn't. You can take the play, you can take different people, you can take different players, you can take different circumstances. Maybe it's even a different sport, a different job altogether. But the only thing that it really boils down to is the human experience of 16 basic emotions. These are emotions that babies exhibit even within their first year, first uh, 18 months of life. The, every single human experience can be boiled down to these same basic human emotions. So once you learn to connect in with those and navigate your emotions in a different sort of way, you can then start to really become an extremely powerful manifester from all, all dimensions of your own body's awareness because you do have multiple dimensions of awareness operating within your energetic sense of self as is. Now think about what happens when you actually tune your level of consciousness into being able to understand and read those frequencies. That is what we're going to be talking about it become. That is exactly what we're going to be diving into, healing past trauma patterns and trauma, and also looking at how can you learn to tune in to the multiple uh, layers of your own makeup, your emotional body, your energetic body, your physical body, your basal body, and then your monad, your connection to the divine. So we're going to be really getting into each and every one of these layers and going through them so that you have a really, really crystal clear and genuine sense of self because that is what it is about. My goal is to help you have the happiest, most enjoyable, most transformational and growth oriented life towards ascension that you can, because that is what I'm here to do. <laughs> so with that, my sweet friends, I'm so thankful for you to take the time and, and, and enjoy this reading. Please do feel free to tag your friends. Please do feel free to share, comment, all of those fun things that keeps us circulating. Um, I love, love, love to see our community growing. It's really super exciting uh, and thrilling for me. So come to become. That's all I have to say. That's my only announcement. Uh, doors and enrollment for the Earth Angels program is open and available. If you're coming to become, you're going to hear all about it. If you're not coming to become and you want to learn more about the Earth Angels program, let me know. I'll send you an application. We'll start the interview process. Uh, and then I do, I have opened my practice up to working with um, people one-to-one. -one. I haven't done this in about six months, but I really wanted to start my one-to-one -one practice back up and connecting in that way. So whatever it is that's resonating with you, join me, join me, join me. But primarily, if you can make it, if you're here in Reno, if you're surrounding areas, 
Join us at Become. I can guarantee you it's going to be a life-changing event. Uh, and I do look forward to seeing you then. All right, my sweet friends. Hope you have a wonderful day. I will be doing some live stuff at the event, so you'll get to see a little bit of a window into it if, you're not, if you aren't able to make it. But with that, I love you dearly, and I will see you soon. All right. Mwah. Ciao.